morning everyone. It's video Thursday once again and today I'm going to talk about another traditional method for preparing grains and today I'm going to talk about sprouting grains which is very popular these days. I know a lot of people are interested in baking and cooking with sprouted flour and buying sprouted flour um, is quite expensive and I would encourage you to make it on your own because when you purchase flour um, it loses its nutrition within just a very short time of once the wheat is ground into flour, about three days if it's not refrigerated. And sprouted flour, lose, once it's ground into grain, loses its nutrition even more quickly than unsprouted flour. So when you get um, sprouted flour and you purchase it, um, it's questionable how much nutrition is actually in there. And um, I would encourage you, therefore, to make it yourself, if at all possible, to preserve nutrition. Because, you know, getting the most nutrition that we can out of our food is one of the principles of traditional eating. And because making sprouted flour is so easy, you're going to be amazed at how easy it is. Um, there's really no need to, uh, to buy it, in my opinion. You can just do it yourself. And then you can be sure that you have um, all that wonderful nutrition in the sprouted grain. Um, so what you're going to do, first of all, is you need a jar. You need to get a glass jar. I purchased this jar from the health food store um, near me. You can use a regular glass jar. Um, that's fine. And you'll notice the sprouting jar has a lid with a, with a um, screen in the top. And if, you, if you're not able to buy one of these at the store, then just get yourself a glass jar. That's, this is about, um, I think, a little more than um, maybe about a half a gallon, maybe a little, little less than that. And you can use a clean pair of pantyhose and cut it up. Put it over the lid and secure it with um, a uh, rubber band if you don't have um, a screen like this. But your first step is you're going to take wheat. And I buy organic wheat from a, um, a local grain co-op. There's probably a lot of local grain co-ops in your area, even if you haven't heard of it. They're around, so ask around to some of the friends that you know. And uh, you can also contact your Western Price chapter leader. Um, I'll post um, that link on the written part of the blog today so you can contact your Western Price chapter leader or perhaps get a list of your local buying clubs where you can get your own grain. But anyway, this is uh, wheat. It's organic wheat. And uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fill this jar about halfway like so. Don't fill it any more than halfway because you'll notice once you soak, the, the first step in uh, sprouting week is to soak it for a while in water and it really swells and it fills up quite uh, quite highly. So if you go too, too far to the top it's going to be spilling over and you don't want that. So about halfway is good. We'll go about this, this far today. And then you're going to take filtered water and you're going to rinse this until it's thoroughly wet. That's really the goal of this step is to get this stuff thoroughly wet and then just drain it like so and then once you've gotten it nice and wet fill it with filtered water one more time and I'd encourage you to fill it uh, almost to the top Okay, like so. And then put your lid on. And that's step one. That's all you have to do. It took me about a minute to do that. You're going to leave this. Ideally, I would do this before you go to bed at night because you want to soak, soak this grain all night. In, in this case, it's the afternoon here. And I'm going to soak this until uh, later this evening, and then I'll, uh, I'll pick up where I left off, and I'll show you the next step. It's now been eight hours, and we're going to check in and see how the soaking wheat kernels are doing. As you can see, um, we filled the jar, if you remember, to about this full, and they've increased in size a good 50 to 100 percent. So you can see why you would never want to fill, fill the jar past about halfway, because you just you'd uh, soak up all the water and be spilling out the lid. So. Um, this is why I always keep it about halfway when I initially fill it because they swell from the water, as you can see. And you can soak them about eight hours. Uh, overnight is a good length of time to soak them, but for my purposes, I started in the afternoon and just soaked them eight hours so I wouldn't have to, to do it overnight and I wouldn't have to do this, this next piece in my pajamas. So anyway, um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain out the water.
and then you're just gonna just rinse them one more time with some fresh water. You don't have to fill it all the way. Just kind of shake them around in there. And then get a heavy appliance, something that can, you can tip this lid upside down. Um, and I use my grain grinder. This is my grain grinder for those, I think I've showed it on a video before. It's a, an old champion juicer and I have the um, grain grinder attachment that I got for about 50 bucks new out of the box um, off of eBay eight years ago. So you don't have to spend a lot of money for a grain grinder. I know they're very expensive, some of the models, and you simply don't have to pay that much money. I've been using this uh, $50 grain grinder attachment for um, a little over eight years and it works great. Um, for a family of five. So there you go. So you take your your uh, wet grains and I just tip it upside down like so. Now make sure getting a lot of air on the grains is important. So you notice I shake it out and notice that I've got them as flat along the side of the jar as I can. And it's not going to be perfect, but you just do the best you can. And then I tip it like that. See, I've got as maximum air exposure on the grains, and the water is dripping out the bottom of the um, screen lid. And I'm basically going to leave it like this for a few hours. I'll rinse it one more time before I go to bed, and then the next morning I'll get up, and we'll probably have sprouts in the morning. And I'll, um, I'll show you what it looks like once we get the sprouts on it.